First and foremost, full spoilers here, and I'll just clarify, I'm no Marvel or DC fanboy. I'm just someone who enjoys movies, and within that, good comic book movies. So with Wonder Woman being released, it not only had to be a good DCEU film, as unfortunately the other entries in their cinematic universe haven't quite struck the chord DC was hoping for, but it also had to be a good female comic book character movie, when we've had the likes of Catwoman and Tank Girl. So, does it succeed with this in mind? Yes, in my opinion, it really does. The film itself, most people would agree, is DC's best entry yet, potentially tied with Man of Steel. Is it a good female comic book movie? Comparatively, and frankly, it's a work of art. DC in their early stages began creating their universe around some core themes, dark, gritty, and lacking humour. With Wonder Woman, they seem to have completely turned this on its head, which is a great thing. Wonder Woman is both serious and dark, but it has moments of beauty, wonder, levity, and humour. If you were to compare Wonder Woman side by side with the previous entries to DC's universe, it's a very apparent but welcomed tonal shift. The story itself is a character origin, which isn't essential, however, it worked really well in this case. Introducing the world of Themyscira and the Amazons, a more fantastical and magical part to the DC universe. We see a young Wonder Woman growing and aging, it isn't dragged out and serves a purpose with regards to her backstory. Themes of hope, compassion and love run deep through the story, but it doesn't feel out of place and fits within the context of the story they presented. The villains are potentially the weaker element to this film, introducing Dr. Poison and Ludendorff, with Ares, the God of War, pulling the strings behind the guise. Though they are potentially weak, World War I as a setting is the forgivable reason for this, and I will say it's refreshing to not have a superhero simply go up against an alternative version of themselves. We do see Ares though as the movie reaches its climactic ending. The battle is very underwhelming, lots of lightning and fire and CGI action, which is unfortunately where a lot of comic book movies, not just DC, fall apart. I went into Wonder Woman with a lot of trepidation about Gal Gadot's acting abilities, however, I found her to be for the most part believable and sincere in her role. Gal Gadot's appearance speaks for itself, and having seen Batman vs Superman, I was already reassured that she was a fitting Wonder Woman from a physical standpoint. But her acting in this movie really was a pleasant surprise. She went through a full range of emotions and 90% of the time it was believable. The sadness and grieving from the death of her aunt especially was great. The chemistry between Gal Gadot and Chris Pine worked well on screen, they bounced off one another well and had a good mix of each character saving the other in some way. The parallels to Captain America can be forgiven as a lot of the movie has a similar setting and is circumstantial due to that. One gripe is the ending though, both end with a plain sacrifice. This parallel seemed a little unnecessary but that's just my thoughts on it. Coincidentally the woods in both films are in fact the same, shot at exactly the same location. One major downfall for the movie, as mentioned previously, is the CGI use. There is a heavy focus on CGI throughout this movie, green screens and slow motion action scenes. It's a spectacle for sure, however, not all of it works well, which is a shame. The action though is great, and Gal Gadot having packed on some muscle for this role is believable to an extent as this strong Amazonian goddess. Counter to that though, the practical work is superb in this film, and especially the costumes. Wonder Woman's uniform is absolutely fantastic. It's one of those outfits that runs a high risk of translating terrible in live action. But they really have done a great job on it, and it comes across functional, of its time, and also reminiscent of the many comic book depictions. On a whole, I liked the movie. It's a fun film with some good action, does have some drawbacks as mentioned above, but it definitely seems to have cemented what DC needed it to. They have created a much better, brighter, funner tone with this film and have raised their bar. So if you have seen this film, then I'd be really keen to hear what you have to say about it. Did any of the things I say marry up with your own opinions? Let me know what you think down below in the comments section, and if you did enjoy this video then please consider leaving it a like and subscribing to the channel for more in the future. If you want to find me on social media, you can find links to that in the description box. I've been Mr H, and until next time, I'll catch you in the comments section.